guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So today we have a pretty interesting pickup video for you. So these are all from a pretty awesome video game store that I recently discovered. Now this is located in Chantilly, Virginia, and they've been around for quite some time now. So this is E-Star Land. So today we're gonna go ahead and check out some shots of their store and these awesome pickups. So let's go ahead and check them out. First, you may notice that I have a different backdrop than normal. Well, I'm currently packing everything up for a big move. So of course, I had to improvise with some of the items that I haven't picked up just yet. So you'll notice that there are some different items behind me and some that you may have not seen in quite some time. So stay tuned for some updated videos on that and hopefully a new video game room tour coming soon. So of course, this video I scored some amazing deals. Now I didn't go overly crazy at the location. Now first thoughts, when I saw the location, it looked like this huge warehouse. So this is East Starland, and they have an online website as well, and they have some pretty cool features. So their website is unlike other video game store websites, it's very well maintained, and it has this account option where you could go ahead and create this free account. You can search their inventory, search for products that you may want. Now they have thousands of items and it's just so awesome to see everything in person. But you can log in, create that free account. You can even have items shipped to your house or you can go ahead and order items and pick them up so that you don't have to spend as much time waiting and walking around the store. But that was the best part for me. So of course, I went there without knowing any of this information. They even have some pretty awesome events hosted there. They have these gamer exchanges where you can go ahead and bring some items, you can win some items, and they have these tournaments. So that is definitely something that I'll have to stay on the lookout for and learn a little bit more about. Now of course, when I went inside the store, I was blown away. There was just so much to focus on. They have rows and walls all along their store, just full of games. There's duplicates of pretty much everything there. And if they don't have a particular item that you want, you can sign on to their website and create a wish list, and they'll let you know as soon as they get it in stock. And their trade values are pretty good as well. And they do accept trades through mail. So that is definitely pretty awesome. They do have a repair service as well. But instantly when I walked in the store, I knew I was gonna fall in love with this place. They just have huge walls and huge bookshelves full of all kinds of items. I even found some pretty obscure items in there. They did have some Atari Jaguar games. They had TurboGrafx-16 games. They had tons of imports. Now their Sega Saturn selection was pretty amazing with all of the Japanese imports that they have. They have Super Famicom games. They just have so many awesome titles and so many awesome items. They even have tons of showcase items as well. Now of course that's where the high dollar and high ticket items are. And then I even asked about some particular items that I didn't notice on their website or in the store and they actually helped me out. So they went in the back and they have tons more items back there that aren't even updated on their website. So it's really awesome and pays off when you go into a particular location because you might find exactly what you're looking for. So they also have tons of sealed games. They have tons of collector's editions. I just didn't know what to do. So next time I go there, I'll have to spend the entire day as it definitely was pretty crazy to see everything rows of Wii games, PSP games, Xbox games, PS2, GameCube, Switch. They have new stuff, old stuff. So we'll go ahead and get on to this pickup. So this particular item was not on their list on the website. So this is a Magnavox Odyssey 2 game and this is the quest for the rings. 
So I couldn't pass up this deal. I wasn't sure if I actually had this game or not, but this is in pretty decent shape and it has a lot of the components. So I figured if I already had this game, I would go ahead and complete it with some of these items here and definitely make it for a great display piece. So this is definitely pretty sweet and they didn't have this one on their website. Like I said, I asked for it and they didn't disappoint. They had tons of obscure games and pretty awesome selection there. So this is definitely pretty neat. And then of course in their huge row of PlayStation 1 games, I did find a couple that looked pretty interesting. So this is Wrecking Crew, Drive Dangerously. So it says blisteringly fast hot rod racing action. And it has this pretty cool cover art on the front. It says the only safe way to drive is dangerously. So of course this was a pretty inexpensive title and it looks like it has a lot going on with the different tracks, two player split screen options, stunt arenas, awesome playability, crazy and unique characters, and extreme power ups and weapons. So I had to try out this game right here. And then of course they had this game. I've never even heard of it, but I had to have it. This is called World Scariest Police Chases. So I figured that this would be something I may know about. This is 20 fast paced in your face missions, 13 different vehicles, extensive weapons, dynamic AI criminals, reactive environments, large city environments, and multiplayer cooperative mood. So this looks pretty awesome and I figured I'd go ahead and try it out. Now another neat thing about this company is all of their games are very well cleaned and they're all sealed in these heat seal packs right here and they all have this pretty cool barcode on it. So not every game has a price tag, they all have this barcode. So when you go in their store, it was pretty interesting, you have to use this Wi-Fi on your phone and you can scan the barcode once you get in their app and it actually tells you all the prices for these games so it made it pretty simple and it helps keep it up to date on pricing and then of course I found this PlayStation 2 game this is called seek and destroy so it says retreat is not an option over 15 ferocious missions fought on land sea and air so it says rig your tank for air assaults Go head to head in two player mode, rally allied armor for support, storm cities, battle the axis of evil, avoid megaton scuds, 15 different tanks, 100 customizable parts and weapons, engage the future of military weapons. So this one looks like a pretty interesting game as well. And then of course, I found this Nintendo Wii game. Now this one actually wasn't on their website as being in stock but they went ahead and found it as I found a copy in the store so that's another reason why I like physically going to actual locations so that I can see the condition of everything and just see what they have and who knows I might discover something that I want to try so this is Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion XL so it says finally all your favorite Cartoon Network characters in one epic brawler so this looked pretty neat. It has 26 playable characters and 26 battle arenas. Now I kind of expect this to be some sort of Smash Brothers beat em up style game that has all of the Cartoon Network characters. So of course we have Dexter, Johnny Bravo, looks like we even have some of the Powerpuff Girls and some villains and this looks pretty neat. So I'll have to see which other ones are included. And then of course they had boxes and boxes of PSP games. Now this is one system that I don't have very many games for. So they had this mock which is Modified Air Combat Heroes. And it sort of has this metallic cover to it. So this says Fight and Flight, you are in control. Modified Air Combat Heroes or Outlaw Pilots competing in deadly aerial contests of skill, speed, and weaponry. Finish first and annihilate the competition in this sky high race to own the air or leave dejected and ejected. So this one looks like a pretty interesting game and I think it'll be fun to play on the go. And then we have this infected game. Now I didn't know anything about this until I saw it. So this looked 
pretty awesome. It definitely popped out as this was kind of in my face. It says, infect the world through Wi-Fi victories. A mutant virus is turning New Yorkers into flesh-hungry zombies. In a gore-soaked campaign mode, you will save New York from the infected. So it says, in four brutal multiplayer modes, you will infect your opponents with your customized cop. Play eight player games in ad hoc mode or infect the world in two player internet death matches. Track your infection online as you spread it around the world. So this says customize your character and unlock new ones including Slipknot, dual wield powerful weapons, plus the viral chainsaw, set off massive chain reactions of exploding zombies, and it even says Splatfest. So it says soundtrack includes Slipknot. So this looks pretty interesting as I'm definitely excited to try this one out as I haven't heard anything about it before. And then of course I had to pick up this Super Nintendo game. This is Cybernator. So this one looks like a pretty awesome game. It was a little bit more expensive as opposed to this lot, but I figured I would give it a go and try it out. And then of course I got this big stack right here and these are all NES games so here we have Abadox which looks like an interesting game and then we have this Dino Wars which looks like this futuristic dinosaur style game and it actually looks pretty crazy and then of course we have this Cycross game so this one looks like an interesting racing style game and these were all pretty inexpensive games, so I was pretty excited to see a lot of these games with very clean labels, and the games just look very well maintained and pretty awesome. And then we have this Destination Earth Star game. So this one looks like pretty interesting space style game, so I was pretty excited to find one of these as well. And then this Defender 2, which looks like another pretty cool game. And then we have this stealth game, and this is ATF. So all of these games look kind of similar, so I'll have to get some gameplay and learn exactly what style games they are. So as you can tell, I scored some amazing deals at this pretty awesome video game store that's definitely new to me. So I'm going to go ahead and drop their information below so you can go ahead and check out their website. And if you're ever in the area, I would highly recommend stopping by and checking out their massive selection of video games because you don't know there might be something in there that you need for your collection. So this is definitely a pretty awesome pickup as it didn't break the bank and I definitely plan on going back there when I have a little bit more time as I definitely want to spend several hours in that store just searching through all of the games that they have. They have tons that are tucked away and behind some of these boxes so hopefully I can spend a little bit more time there and grow my collection for a pretty reasonable price. So of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.